What's your name, by the way? Eric. Eric. Mm -hmm. uh, what band do you play in? Monstro Flora. Okay. Uh, what kind of music do you guys play? Um, indie rock. Indie rock. Yeah. Cool. All right. Electric, acoustic. What do you primarily play? In the band, I play electric. Do you play acoustic at home as well? I do. Cool. I actually write on an acoustic guitar. What kind of strings are you using on your guitar? Um, Diodario 11s. Okay. Uh, for both electric and acoustic? On the acoustic, I use phosphor bronze 12s. Diodario as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, have you ever tried coated strings? A long time ago, there was okay. a company that came out with them maybe 10 years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I tried them and didn't really dig them all that much. What did you not like? It just felt funny. It felt funny. It felt like they were coated. Yeah. <laughs> what about the sound? Uh, the sound, I think, I think was a little damper than I was used to because okay. it didn't quite have the brightness that I was accustomed to, especially on the acoustic guitar. You can kind of tell a little more um, on an acoustic. You can tell the difference between the coded strings and uncoded strings just by feeling them and playing them for a little bit? At that time I could, yeah. And now? I haven't tried them since then. Since then? I got two guitars here. One of them has coded strings, not necessarily the brand that you played. Right. Um, and I want to know if you could figure out which ones were coded and which ones aren't. Sure, man. Cool. I'd have to guess, because okay. honestly it's not jumping out at me. Gotcha. And it's it's uh, it's a toss-up. I think the coded ones were on this guitar. Okay. What number is on the back of that headstock? One. Okay. And you were right. What made you think that? Honestly, they're very, very close. It was a, it was a it was a wild guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They what? sound amazingly similar to me. Um, these don't feel anything like coded strings I've played before. Right. What made you want to pick that guitar, if you had to pick a reason? Um, I thought for a second I could tell a difference in, 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 uh, in the sound. Okay. But it was such a, such a minute difference that it could have been what I was playing. I don't know. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, those are clear tone strings. They're bright. They're really bright. Yeah. 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 That's what I didn't dig about um, the coded ones I tried before. interesting this one seems to have a little more output a little louder the clear tone you're saying yeah this it's a little louder and yeah. um, they both sound good I'm not gonna say this didn't sound good um, this just seemed to have a little bit more output yeah you know which is interesting again <laughs> for coated strings yeah dig that man awesome. wasn't expecting that at all yeah. well they were scientifically proven to actually be louder really yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> it wasn't just they were my ears no. yeah. yeah 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 you can tell it's it's audible which is surprising. You would expect anything that you put on a string is going to dampen it. Right. Yeah. Not this time. Well, the, the, the taboo is broken. <laughs> America, I passed the clear tone challenge. <laughs>